Okay, hello there. On this video we're going to have a look at uh, oxyacetylene welding. Uh, we're going to be welding a piece, two pieces of mild steel together. Uh, they're my two pieces that I've tap welded together at the moment. Uh, we're going to be using two gases, uh, acetylene and oxygen, which we're going to mix together to create a very high temperature, uh, a temperature that will enable us to melt the mild steel uh, and we'll get a molten pool uh, and we will be adding the filler. Uh, now the filler rod is the same material uh, as the work pieces that we're going to be welding, so that's uh, mild steel. In terms of safety, uh, I've got my leather gloves, I've got my leather apron on, leather shoes and I've got my, my protection. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, fire up the torch. So uh, as you can see the torch is already lit. I'm going to open up the acetylene and you can see there we've got the soot coming out. We need to draw the flame back until we get a minimal amount of soot. When we're there, we're going to add the oxygen. And you can see there we've got the, the cone which draws back until it comes to about six millimeters there. There we go. And the hottest part of the flame is just beyond that cone, uh, and the temperature there is about 3,000 degrees centigrade. So that's uh, much hotter than we need to melt the mild steel, because the mild steel will melt between uh, 12 and 1400. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, heat up the joint, create a little molten pool, uh, and then we're going to introduce the mild steel filler rod. So high protection down. Let's get my filler rod. So what we're doing here is we're creating a molten pool and then bringing in the filler rod which will melt. our finished weld, turn the gas off, I'll turn that round so that you can see it a little bit better, that's extremely hot, we're going to leave that to cool for half an hour or so, so that's oxyacetylene welding, thanks for watching.